Hi everyone, my name is Riza Fareen, Developer Advocate at Argus. Today, in this video, we'll have a walkthrough a sample workflow that sends alerts to the popular instant and alerting tool Ops Genie when there are failed instances of a particular workflow in Argus Connector. Orcus Connector is a powerful orchestration platform that simplifies your workflows, microservices, and events. So for demonstrating this example, we'll be utilizing this workflow that begins with a query processor task. So a query processor task is a system task that is used to query data from different querying systems. So here you can choose a query type as Conductor Search API, which would fetch the data from Conductor Search API or you can also leverage the Prometheus metrics. So in this example, we'll be utilizing the Conductor Search API and you need to provide the query parameters here. So this is a workflow name for which you'll find the failed instances and then you can provide the correlation ID and the status. So here we are finding the failed workflow. So here we can input it as the status and also you can provide a start time. That is a time period between which you need to fetch the details of the failed workflows. So it is followed by a switch task, uh, which checks if there are failed instances. And if there aren't any failed instances, the workflow will execute through the default case switch and the workflow probably ends here. And if there are failed instances of the workflow, then the true case is executed and the workflow moves on to the ops genie task, which is a system task that is used to send alerts to the ops genie tool. So here you need to provide or configure the Ops Genie parameters. That is, you need to provide uh, who should be able to view this alert and who should respond on this and what should be the message pass, the actions to be taken, the priority, uh, the token. So token in the case, uh, we need to integrate uh, our Orcus Connector console with the Ops Genie platform. So for that, you need to create an integration key and that has to be stored as a secret in Orcus Connector, which is functionality uh, which we provide to store and keep your sensitive value, values safely. So once uh, the alerts are sent, the workflow gets completed. So here's a sample workflow which we are going to run now. So here we have configured the parameters. So to be quickly, uh, to quickly uh, explain this parameter. So obscene visibly visible to means um, to which team the uh, alerts should be visible to. So this is my sample account and here we have created an ops team. So it should be visible. So in the URL of the ops, ops team, you can get uh, the ID, so the work, uh, team ID you can get and you can provide it here. And then you can prov configure the other value. So we are going to find the failed instances of this particular workflow, that is the failed instances of this test fail workflow and we are going to send the alerts. So for that, uh, I've mentioned you need to create the token. So on your Ops Genie account under Teams, if you go to the integrations tab, and click on add integrations and choose the api and let's provide a name for the integration let it be test and then uh, you can see that an api key is generated and on the orcus connector console you need to save it so i've updated the key now for our testing purposes so once a key is generated so you need to also ensure that the integration is turned off on. So currently it is off. So let's turn on the integration now. So yes, the integration is on and now let's run the workflow. So, so the workflow is created. So this is a workflow ID generated. So clicking on which you can view the workflow execution. So you can see that it is completed. So first is a query processor task where the output so you can see that a link is generated so if you simply copy paste this you can see that it shows the failed instances of that particular workflow within the time period which we have provided so you can see there are three instances so basically we are fetching that same data and that data is passed on to the switch task so which evaluates the result as true and the true case is getting executed which means that the alerts are sent to the ops genie so if you open the ops genie account and if we go to the alerts tab you can see that there is an open alert which is received just now so the assignee can acknowledge that uh, alert and take actions accordingly
So this is how the workflow works. So you can see that it is completed. Thank you.